Hello there! Okay, to my channel. This is Sakura. I'm a Japanese American girl living in Tokyo, and today I have a really fun makeup video for you for all the makeup lovers who's itching to do something a little bit different. I feel like everything that I wear and all the makeup that I do is usually neutral, so I'm not that experimental, but I've been really, really loving the trend of using orange in the last one or two years. So I thought that I'd try it out for myself. You know, new season's coming, it's gonna be bright and cheerful, so I want my makeup to reflect that. And when I tried it at home, I loved it. So I wanted to recreate this look for you so that you can do it at home too. Without further ado, let's just get right into it, into this orangey, springy makeup. Alright, so this is me having finished all my skincare prep before doing the makeup. Um, as you can see, my skin, my texture is getting much better, but my problem areas will be um, acne spots as well as kind of like hyperpigmentation I have um, from my past pimples. So that's the most problematic area that I usually like to cover up. So the first step that I like to do is start by concealing under my eyes. So I use the Cam Make Color Mixing Concealer that comes in like a three color palette. And I'm gonna be using this orangey color here to do my under eyes. I'm gonna be taking um, a concealer brush and my finger to blend it in. So first I'm gonna use my finger. It kind of helps like, the temperature of my finger helps it kind of melt into my skin. And then after I feel like it looks okay, I'm just gonna Blend it in a little bit better. And then next, I'm gonna be using an under eye concealer. Um, it's called the same Tip Concealer 1.5 Cover Perfection in the shade 1.5. Under my eyes. So sort of lift some spots. And then my most problem area where it's a little bit red. There. And I'm gonna be using the same concealer brush to blend it in. I really like the coverage of this concealer and I think it is a little bit lighter than my skin so it sort of helps lift using the leftover where my nose here gets a little bit red. Okay, so this is what my face looks like with concealer. So I got the Mineral Essence BB Cream by the brand Only Minerals which you can find in like any Japanese drugstore. Um, this is in the color Okuru, Okuru, so or Oko. How do you say in English? It's pretty thick, like it, it's not runny at all. So it does kind of get on like a foundation. And I'm using the really popular Ando B and B sponge. This is actually my first time using this too, and I really like the texture of it. I do also have a beauty blender, but you know, that one costs like 20 something dollars, and this one's only 800 yen, eight dollars. So I wanted to try it out, and I really like the, the texture of it so far. So I'm gonna use this sponge to put on my BB cream. Oh yeah, love how that looks. I love the finish of this, but I will say that it is a tad lighter than like my tan skin. So it kind of gives like the plus one whitening effect, which I honestly don't really like, but I think I wanted to make myself look a bit more glowy today. So that will work. Okay, so this is what the BB cream looks like. I really like the natural finish of this. It's not matte and it's not dewy either. I used to be really oily, so I'm really like self-conscious about looking super dewy. Um, I think it works a, a lot on women and it's like a really trendy style right now, but as someone who is formerly very oily, I get like really scared that I just look super oily. I really like this sponge, I mean, for the cost, I mean, it's 800 yen and it's blending stuff really nicely. And it feels really good on my skin. Like, I think the Beauty Blender is much more dense maybe, but this is really spongy and really soft. Just to cover up the last parts that I didn't quite get. I feel like makeup is so therapeutic. Okay, so I think I'm liking how this looks. 
it's not perfect but I don't want my skin to be looking perfect because then it looks overly cakey I do have skin texture and acne and stuff so I just don't want to cover everything up because it looks a bit weird to me I don't like too much coverage okay next is the fun part where we get into the actual orange stuff that I bought so first this is the gorgeous I don't even know how to pronounce it Heme? Heme? Um, eye color palette in golden mango this is surprisingly affordable so this is around 2180 yen i love that they're shimmery shades as well as the not shimmery shades the matte shades and i'm going to be using this to do my eyes today and i'm going to be trying to use most of these colors today so first what i'm going to do is take this lighter shade here which is like a peachy orange color i'm gonna take a brush small eye eye makeup brush i'm just gonna put this one all over my eyes it has just like a nice base i suppose next i'm gonna be taking the medium matte orange color or maybe it has a little bit of shimmer in it this middle one here and I'm gonna be also putting that one all over my lids this is like a really nice bright orange color and then next I'm gonna be taking the dark orange color here and I'm gonna just be using a little bit of that on the bottom parts of my eyes to kind of give on my lash line same orangey touch and then on the inner parts so that it's like a orange ombre making sure not to put too much on my lash line next I'm taking a slightly fluffier brush to uh, blend out using this brown shade right here on the outer corners of my eyes and in the inner corners as well. So, right there and just blend it out. Very subtle. A little bit to give a little bit of depth, blend out everything. And then, lastly, I'm gonna take this shimmery gold orange shade here and put it all over my lids as well. I'm just going to use my finger for that because I think the shimmer stays on best when you put it on with your finger. So I'm just going to put that in the middle here. Oh, I like that. Oh, I love that. So shimmery. Yes, I love this orange. It looks really pretty. Okay, so here's my eyeshadow. And then to finish off the kind of the shadow parts of my eyes, besides the eyeliner, I'm going to be using this, sorry, I'm just taking the sticker off. I'm going to be using the brand I Mimi Shadow Stick. It's like a glitter shadow stick and it's really gorgeous. I'm just going to put it on my water lines to make my eyes pop a little bit and maybe in between like the corners of my eyes here. So, oh my gosh, I am in love with this stick. It's super easy and applicable. It just makes the big, the smallest difference. But it's gorgeous to add that highlighter. I think the shade, let me double check what the shade is. It's in 002 Peach Coronet. And it's like this, yeah, peachy gold highlighting color. And just add a little bit to the corners of my eyes. Okay. And I think that really complements the glitter on my eyelids as well. So here's what it looks like. Gorgeous! Gorgeous, girl! Next, I'm going to be taking this Etchuse Eye Edition Gel Liner. It's an eyeliner that's in the shade 04. So this is also going to be like an orangey brown and really thin. So what I'm going to do is tight line my waterline and then um, add like the wing a little bit and blend that out a bit. I'm 
I'm really digging using the brown eyeliner lately because I've been using black my whole life and I just feel like the brown is much more subtle and soft. Sorry, it's really hard to do this without a, a bigger mirror. I'm trying to do it in front of the camera. But uh, I'm gonna be, again, just winging it out, following the natural curve of my eye. And then just using my finger to wing it out. And since it's a jowl liner, before it dries out, you can play around with it still. So that's why I use my finger to kind of blend out the wing. Okay, so this is what my eyes look like. Next, I'm going to quickly do my brows with the Brow Lash X Ultra Skinny Pencil Brow. I think, what brand is this? I think it just says Brow Lash X. I'll try to figure out what it is. And I'm using the color 01 Dark Brown. And I'm just going to be first using the spoolie to shape my eyebrows. And then fill in with that pencil. And it's a very thin pencil. So you can definitely put very natural strokes. <laughs> I was like strokes like a snake. Okay, and just brighten up my eyebrows a little bit. I'm gonna be using the Heavy Rotation Coloring Eyebrow Gel. Again, I introduced you, I introduced this one back in my other video with the quarantine one. And I'm just gonna add the little bit of brown color so that I can just brighten it up. And it's not totally black. This is the best you're gonna get from me, I'm sorry, so. This is my brows. Okay, let's just call it a day and make that done. Okay, I have been very much waiting to introduce this product to you. It's very popular in Japan. This Cream Cheek Can Make Tokyo, that's the brand, in the color 22, maybe? And it is this gorgeous, gorgeous, it is this gorgeous orangey kind of pinky, well, maybe not pinky, but orangey brown cream cheek that blends so beautifully and I'm so excited to show it to you. The price is really cheap. I'm gonna look it up and share with you later but it has a little bit of glitter like gold glitter in it as well so it's really pretty and it blends just like a dream. So I think I might just take actually my finger just dip it in like this and then put it on. You see? It's orange. Then I'm just gonna put it on like the top part of where my cheek hits the light. Oh, and it just blends super nicely, really easy. The only thing is sometimes the color comes off pretty easily, so I like to make it a little bit darker so that the color payoff will be good later. I feel so pretty! I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's just this like really subtle, kind of like really natural but orange looking shadow that I think just goes perfectly with this orange look. So I am pretty much in love with this. Just gonna do my other side now. I think it just makes me look healthy. Maybe that's the word. And you know what? I think I might go in with that eye stick that I mentioned earlier, the I Meme one, and use it as a highlighter just on like where my cheek bone hits the light make it really subtle on my nose too i don't know i just love the orange cheek so much i'm really happy with how this looks and how it feels so i really wanted to show it to you guys and this orange color i think is actually new too so i was just really excited next in order to kind of remain more soft and not as dramatic i'm gonna be using a brown mascara to curl my lashes. So let me first curl my lashes here. If you watch any of my videos, you know I'm gonna be using my Pummel Eyelash Mascara Base, which is like my holy grail for me that helps keep my eyelashes stay long and curled throughout the day. Okay, so then I'm gonna be going in with this Cam Make Brown Mascara. And my lashes are looking a bit strange today because I got the eyelash how do you say? Perm? 
So it's supposed to be curved up, but it's like on the third week. So I think the curve is dying down, but it's still going up. So it kind of is curved like this. So it looks a bit strange to me. It's too curled right now. Okay, and I am finishing off my look with my very highly anticipated, sorry, on my side, uh, the Lip Edition Etuse Tint Rouge lipstick that I have just been loving. The price is very decent. I think it's like 1,300, 400 yen. It's a drugstore brand. Etuse. The color is this beautiful, beautiful brown nudie color. And I think it looks great with the orange. I think maybe this is more of an autumn look, but you know, I'll probably still be wearing it in spring anyway, so whatever. So I'm just going to be finishing it up with this color. If I can show you, I don't know if my arm is good, but and I'm just going to put this on my lips, so... How does it look? I love this lipstick! It's a matte lipstick apparently, but it goes on really smooth and very creamy. It is matte, but I think it's like a little bit still hint of the sheen. So it's not like a complete matte. Optional to add a little bit of contour, which I did. Uh, but you don't have to. And then I'm going to be finishing it off with, I think, a spray and then um, maybe I'll use powder as well, just finishing powder. Okay, so that is it for the look. This is the finished product. I'm having a good skin day today, so praise the Lord! Thank you so much! It looks great! I'm just really excited to do something other than neutral for once and this color makes me really excited so I really hope that this has inspired you to also try out orange or maybe another fun color for the spring this year. The products that I used I bought from the Japanese cosmetics stores called Ainz and Tolpe. So most of these brands are drugstore brands and also very very affordable which I was really happy to tell you. The only thing that I used today that was not so affordable was uh, the Only Minerals BB Cream Foundation that was 4,400 yen. I mean I think that's a really steep price to pay for something that's not like a luxury or not luxury but a high-end makeup brand but I love the look of it personally so that's why I used it today. But for you, you can use any foundation that you like. If you like this video, please feel free to like, subscribe, comment to my channel and I've been recently trying to get more into Japanese cosmetics and Korean cosmetics as opposed to the US brands that I usually use. So if there's anything that you've been loving lately from Japan, please comment it down below so that I can try it out. I've been on like a buying frenzy for makeup lately so can't really stop myself. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you in my next one. Bye!